silent before the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. The Lord has prepared a sacrifice, he has consecrated his guests. At that time, I will search Jerusalem with lamps, and I will punish the people who rest complacently on their dregs, those who say in their hearts, the Lord will do no good, nor will he do harm. Their wealth shall be plundered, and their houses laid waste. Though they build houses, they shall not inhabit them. Though they plant vineyards, they shall not drink wine from them. The great day of the Lord is near, near and hastening fast. The sound of the day of the Lord is bitter. The warrior, warrior cries out aloud there. That day will be a day of wrath, a day of distress and anguish a day of ruin and devastation, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of trump blast and battle cry against the fortified cities and against the lofty battlements. I will bring such distress upon people that they shall walk like the blind because they have sinned against the Lord. Their blood shall be poured out like dust and their flesh like dung. Neither their silver nor their gold will be able to save them. On the day of the Lord's wrath, in the fire of his passion, the whole earth shall be consumed. For a full, terrible end he will make of all the inhabitants of the earth. The word of the God of the Lord. Today's psalm is Psalm 90. Let us say it this morning. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. The Lord of mountains is brought forth, for the land and the earth was born, from age to age to your God. You turn us back to the dust and say, Turn back, O children of earth. For a thousand years in your sight are like a yesterday when it was past, and like a watch in the night. You sweep them away like a dream, they fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning, the morning is dreaming in the marshes, and in the evening the night I love the good. For we are consumed by your anger. We are afraid because of your wrath. Our iniquities have set before you, and our secret sins have violated your presence. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. It's been a night of our life for 70 years, perhaps in strength even 80. Yet there's some of them who regards the power of your wrath? Who rightly fears your indignation? So teach us to remember our days, that we may our hearts The second reading is from Thessalonians. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they say, this is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get are drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love. And for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation for our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are the word of the Lord. Thanks, Lord. Thanks be to God.
fourth, fifth chapter. Jesus then told them this parable. For it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one. To each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I've made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I've made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid. I went, hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked, you lazy slave. You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. And on my return, I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from me and give it to the one with the ten talents. For also, to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you. Be seated. 